Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, this is your Red Engineer and today I'm going to do a creation that many of you guys have asked me to make. So of course you know what I'm going to do because the, because the title of the video spoiled everything, but yeah, I'm going to make some working vending machines in vanilla Minecraft using command blocks of course. So you can see here in the hotbar all the items that you will need to build the vending machine and if you're in creative mode, of course, you'll not need um, duplicates of the items because you have infinite items. But remember that you will need to be in creative mode because you need to get the command blocks, which can be used only in creative mode. So guys, you start by making an L shape like this using the cyan stained clay. Of course, in this tutorial, I'm using this color, but you guys, you can use any colors that you wish. Then you fill the this little space with two glass blocks and the front is done. Let's complete it with a button that will be needed to, of course, request our item. This sign here that will represent the little trapdoor, you know, the trapdoor that you open and, the, and then you can take your item from the vending machine. And here on the top, place an item frame with a piece of paper on top. And uh, what it does is basically represent like a pricing and a list with all the items that you can buy from the vending machine. Then going here in the back, make another L shape with iron blocks, but this time upside down. And I'm going to explain you why I left this hole here in the back. Okay, yeah, I, I almost forgot about the carpets. Place these four car carpets on the top to finish the vending machines. Now, again, as I said, with the, the clay blocks, you can use any color of the carpet that you want. Now the vending machine is done, but all it needs are the items inside. So now the good part of this tutorial comes uh, because we are going to use command blocks. Uh, to give yourself a command block, use this command in the chat, give at p command underscore block, and then you hit enter and you will get a command block. And then you destroy this carpet, place a command block on top of the glass block and copy one by one all these commands. Boom, first one. There's a link in the description of this video that will forward you to my webpage and on that webpage you will find all the commands that I have used in this creation. So you paste the first command, always active and there we go, we have a bitro soup on top of the vending machine. Then you, all you do, you paste the second command inside and wait, let me take a button so I don't have to, okay. And there we go, we have a mushroom stew, then third command, boom, paste it inside. We have a delicious pumpkin pie and last command, boom, and activate it and we have a bread that simulates a panini for me and then you can destroy that command block and replace the carpet there we go looks fabulous now and yeah i know that in the real life you don't have moving items in the vending machine but i really love minecraft because you can do everything there we go now um regarding the hole here in the back just extend it a bit more because we are going to add some command blocks here now this creation is a bit different from all my previous uh, tutorials because it doesn't use an external line of command blocks all it does is the command blocks are in the creation itself there we go i think that i can place these items here because i don't need them anymore now i'm going to copy one two and three command blocks and by the way guys, to copy a command block with the command already inside, all you have to do, you have to press Ctrl and mouse wheel and the game will copy the block with all of its data inside. You go here in the hole and paste the first, the second and the third command block looking down. Make sure that they are all looking down. And the first needs to be set on impulse, unconditional and needs the redstone. The second should be chain, conditional and always active. There we go, and the third same, chain, conditional, and always active. There we go. Now, before explaining you what uh, each command does, let's try it. So, if I press the button, you see that nothing happens. Why? Because I didn't give to the vending machine a coin or a kind of currency. So, I've chosen to have, where is it, gold nuggets as currency because they are useless and but at the same time you have to find or craft them so you need to do something to get them 
and yeah I think that they fit perfectly for the this vending machine now you see that I have 64 gold nuggets in my inventory and when I press the button boom the vending machine took off one of my coins but gave me a really tasty apple juice now I don't need it because I'm in creative mode so as long as I have coins in my inventory the command will work if I don't have any coin the the vending machine will not give me my apple juice um, okay now going in the commands in the first command block we have a clear command all it does it takes off one of our gold nuggets if we change this number here with three for example will take us three gold nuggets and so on boom the next two command blocks are set on conditional. Uh, this means that these command blocks will run the commands inside them only if the previous command block successfully executed the, his command. So if the first command block clears our gold nugget, then the next command blocks will work. If the vending machine doesn't take a coin from our inventory, the next two commands will of course not work. The second command, all it does, it summons the beetroot soup, a beetroot soup here in this exact block and I have renamed it with apple juice, so it looks like it gave us a, an apple juice. You can change the type of item, you, you, you just go here in the command and change beetroot soup with, I don't know, with um, golden apple and so on. You have the power to change everything. And here you can change how the item should be renamed. So if you want to name, I don't know, a beetroot soup notch soup, you can do it. And the third command plays a sound that is played when you take an experience orb. So it's this sound. Oh wait, I don't have coins. Uh, let's get some of them and it's this sound. Pling, pling, so yeah, it's this sound here. And yeah, that's that's it. When you finish placing all of your commands, you can fill up this hole and your vending machine is completely done. You can add this in your server, in, I don't know, in your personal world, and you can modify the, the drop and how much it costs. So yeah, guys, that was the vending machine that many of you guys have requested. I hope that you liked it. If you did so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So guys, I want to thank you all for being with me until the end of this video and I wish you all a nice day and I'll see you all guys in my next video. Bye!